Hi everybody, it's Dan. Hey, I'm just going to give you a quick overview on Darwin's streaming server uh, on DreamHost. I posted a couple weeks ago about DreamHost and why it's my favorite host and mentioned the Darwin streaming server um, part of it. Uh, I saw a lot of traffic to my site from that um, off the keywords Darwin streaming server set up on DreamHost. So I thought I'd just go over it really quick. I remember when I was first trying to figure it out, it was a little daunting, it seemed a little confusing, but it's really not bad once you figure it out. So, let's get started and do it quick. We're going to try to keep this short for the first time. Uh, I logged into my panel here on DreamHost, and this is the standard welcome screen. Uh, underneath goodies, you will see something called media streaming. This is where you go to initially set it up. Now, I already have my streaming set up, so right here you see my information. But if you didn't, you just click Add New QuickTime Service, and it would ask you, there'd be a little text box. Well, let's just do it. There's a little text box here that asks what you want your subdomain to be. And then if you have additional subdomains, you can set up there. So I could set up something like streaming.sandbox.danstever.com. But let's just go back here. And here in the top, as it says, it's the file location of the server. And underneath is a QuickTime URL. So this is what you need to provide to someone to view a stream, to view um, a live stream or a movie that's been hinted. Um, also, what you can do with this is put a link on your website, you know, create a standard hyperlink, uh, watch streaming movie here, watch the live feed here, etc. You get the idea. So, set it up in DreamHost on your panel. And then we need to get a program that will provide the stream. Uh, Apple produces a program that's great and it's free, which I really like. It's called QuickTime Broadcaster. So we'll start that up. I'll provide the link to download this uh, in the text. So just click on that if you'd like to get it get set up. Now, as this is loading, I apologize if you're going to see me. I'm a hot mess tonight. Just sitting in my kitchen hanging out. So here's QuickTime Broadcaster. Just a quick overview. You have your audio tab right here, uh, your video tab right here, and then your network tab. Your audio and your video, you get to choose things like uh, the source, uh, if you want to enable it or not, and then your compression and the additional gain if you want to add on to it. Same with the video, you can choose your source. You know, I only have the eyesight plugged in right now, so I don't have an external camera. And the network, here's where you put your settings. You have your transmission method for manual cast, or multicast, manual unicast, and automatic unicast. I won't go into that. Like I said, we just want to keep it short. So I'm going to choose multicast. Now, where we get our audio address and video address, uh, I'll show you that right here. If you're on a Mac, you can open up Network Utility, and then click Ping, and then put in your streaming server as your address. All right, just let it hit once, and we get this right here. That's what we're looking for. So you can just copy that and add it in here under Audio and Video. The ports are standard, those are just the default, so you can leave those right there. Then we'll set this up. I typed in before my first stream. I'm the author, 2010, and there's the uh, link. Great. So let's go to uh, logged into my server here under Cyberduck. Just to show you, here's the root of my directory. I'm going to go into streaming, and here I have a file that I was just testing with. It's just a hinted movie. But we need to upload a file in here after we create it from QuickTime Broadcaster. So we'll go back to QuickTime Broadcaster, I put in the information, and then what we do is we hit Broadcast. Now things will stop, it'll get a little messy, and the video here will slow down. It is automatically uh, compressing it, showing what it'll be like on the feed. I'm on a slow connection, I'm at home right now, so it's a little choppy, I apologize for that, but you'll get the idea. So after you hit Broadcast, and you have to do it after you hit Broadcast, Click on File, go to Export, and then click SDP. And we're going to do my dash stream. Okay, let's export that. Now, we'll go back to CyberDuck. You can use any FTP program you like. I'm a huge advocate of free and open source. That's why I use CyberDuck. Uh, you can use your favorite, like Transmission, or etc. So we'll upload this. 
Now we'll go back to our DreamHost panel. Remember where I showed you that you have your file location server and your QuickTime URL? Let's copy this QuickTime URL. And we'll go back to the CyberDuck, just so we can see our file name. We will open QuickTime Player. And then once that starts, we'll click on Open URL, paste in, oops, I didn't copy it. My bad, guys. Copy. Let's go back here, move URL. And then at the end here, we'll change our file name to my stream dot sdp click open quicktime broadcast will pop up and there's our stream not the best quality like i said i'm sitting at home in my kitchen so things are a little choppy i have a slower internet connection than a lot of people that would at a corporation or such so that's all there is to it not too difficult and i hope that helps some of you out i know this if I would have been able to find it, it would have saved me a lot of headaches. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you soon.